This overview shows the ground paths of various unknown objects that traverse the skies over central Arizona in various locations throughout Phoenix between 8 and 9 o'clock p.m. on March 13, 1997. The object seen by the greatest number of witnesses over the longest period of time was described as a large V-shaped craft similar in shape to a carpenter square with wings swept back at a 60 degree angle and squared off ends. There were five large lights equally spaced underneath the object and a dome-shaped canopy on top. Tim Lee, a witness living near the Squaw Peak area, created this color illustration that was later featured on the cover of USA Today. Many witnesses described a similar object over 7th Avenue and Indian School Road, then watched it vanish as several fighter jets from Luke Air Force Base approached. After the jets passed, the object reappeared again then proceeded towards South Mountain. This second craft did not have a dome on top and was observed at a higher altitude. Other witnesses reported seeing a boomerang or V-shaped object with a 120 degree sweep and pointed tips flying over Lake Pleasant and the west side of Phoenix at a high altitude. Airline pilots reported that the object was well above their 18,000 foot altitude. Underneath the object were six sets of lights and three lights in each set. Another mile-wide V-shaped object with a 90-degree sweep was seen descending towards the approach end of Sky Harbor Airport at an altitude of approximately 1,500 feet. A witness who observed the object less than 300 feet away reported that as it floated by in front of the moon, it appeared to be semi-transparent. There were four reddish-amber lights along the leading edges and a red orb trailing behind the object. A fifth object was described by witnesses as a mile-wide black triangle some witnesses reported seeing lights and windows, and others did not. This massive black triangle was first observed near Scottsdale and Pima Road, traveling west, then the object turned south along Interstate 51 and flew over Squaw Peak. It is believed that this particular object was the one former Arizona Governor Five Symington reported seeing as it traveled south towards Sky Harbor Airport. Another equilateral triangle, estimated to be around 2,500 feet long, had three white lights, one on each of the tips, and one red light in the center. Witnesses first observed this triangular craft just north of the Beeline Highway, traveling southeast across Mesa, and was last seen near the intersection of Riggs Road and Power Road in Chandler. The craft then appeared to split into two identical copies that traveled away from each other in two different directions. Witnesses along Interstate 10 also reported seeing a mile-long black triangle traveling north from Casa Grande to Phoenix. The craft had three lights on the nose and one on each tip. It is not clear whether or not this particular craft is the same object that flew over Squaw Peak. There were also reports of an enormous white luminescent oval craft, estimated to be a mile long by three quarters of a mile wide, with amber lights around its perimeter. The object was last seen hovering just above the ridge of the McDowell Mountain Range, northeast of Phoenix.